I am Roger Ginrich, the CEO of CANIF, the Canadian International Fashion Film Festival, along with our global events arm, Fashion.Film, which produces fashion film creative related events in major cities around the world. I am also a sitting board member of the Commonwealth Fashion Council based in London, overseeing the business of fashion in the 54 countries that make up the Commonwealth based on three pillars, gender empowerment, sustainability, and education. I was also director of strategy and partnerships for Canada Fashion Group, which produce Canada's largest fashion weeks. What is the link between fashion and cinema today? Fashion and cinema have had a long, long standing relationship, even dating back 2000 years to the Acropolis, where Greece uh, was one of the world's leaders in actually showcasing theater and using fashion uh, to tell the story um, to the turn of the 20th century, where across Europe, theaters were showcasing new fabrics, designers were showcasing their designs to go to the nobility. Um, it was a chance for them to tell a story and they use fashion within theater um, to portray that to uh, the 1920s all the way up to 2020s where fashion has really seen this opportunity to showcase their collections to a wider demographic whether it be bollywood and the cultural nuances to nollywood to to hollywood as well and and using those designers to really showcase that collection to a, not only a wider demographic but to a specific demographic uh, and really niche on it whether it's streetwear whether it's haute couture whether it's evening wear whether it's simple accessories within jewelry and handbags and watches um, to to the sneaker culture as well so cinema has really fast forwarded so many designers and apparel collections um, like like no other time film was first then streaming then what what will happen to cinema after artificial intelligence I love this question and it's it's something I'm actually quite passionate about. One thing that will never change and that's our human desire to be entertained. We turn to cinema to be inspired, to connect with cultures, to trigger emotions and to broaden our vision and thinking. AI will just be another medium to deliver this to us from theater for thousands of years to cinema for just over a hundred years to AI now. I believe the next form of cinema will be you and I being able to participate in the films of our choice with expanded collaborative technology. With our personal passions, we could insert ourselves in a film of our choice, uh, the genre, and play the character we wish as a new form of self-expression. With technology changing so rapidly, we as individuals would use cinema to share our personal expressions and our viewpoints. Fashion film festivals aren't just about showing films, right? Just to set the context, fashion films are shorts between 30 seconds to less than 10 minutes where fashion plays the lead character or a supporting role. They are used by designers, they're used by brands to basically tell their story using the aesthetic of fashion. During our festival, we have screenings, we have panel discussions, master classes, we have director's parties, any opportunity we have to bring the global creatives into one room to collaborate, to share, to tell stories, um, to network, uh, along with our two-day festival, uh, which covers 21 award categories, five nominees per, truly the world's greatest in fashion film across the 21 categories. I'm a collaborator. I absolutely love seeing the uniqueness in others and being able to put the right people in the right place at the right time. Cultural nuances, uniqueness of characters, the creatives around the world that want to share their skill sets. Um, that's what inspires me, is to bring them into the right space to allow that creativity to thrive.